Welcome back to Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Burning Dog fans. Last time, I found the door out of this area, but I still need to get my hands on any documents related to Operation Resurrection. Now, I have a feeling it's that book in that file folder right there. Actually, it just appears to be one piece of paper now that I look at it closely. But, uh, let's see. There's the door into the room. So I need to go down a level. By the way, I did try jumping up and pressing F on that, so, uh... It's not a button any more than it is something to be destroyed. Hmm. Oh. When I'm running forward, I can see my feet's footprints. Footprints? My feet's shadows. Boy, the word feet's sure doesn't sit well in my mind. Come on. Yes, properly! I could have just walked it down, but I didn't. Does this door work? No. Shit. Oh. When did I come across this? Go. Now it can't be followed. That's funny. Well, I'm here. That's nice. Christ alive. Poor bastard. Yeah, none of these guys are death dead. Oh, that's just one of their pelvis replacements. Great. Awesome. To SS Oberfuhrer Wilhelm Death's Head Strauss from Reichsfuhrer SS Heinrich Himmler. Willy! <laughs> Again. It saddens me to hear that you have declined the invitation from the Paranormal Division to attend the upcoming ceremony in Paderborn. You will be missing out on a rare opportunity to witness a momentous event. I had hoped this experience might provide you with new insight, or at the very least, cure your lingering skepticism. I see that once again I am to be disappointed. Huh. I really thought of the Nazi High Command as, like, being passive-aggressive with anyone. I have always considered you one of the, mo one of the most valuable contributors to the Reich. Were it not for your continued obstinacy in this area, there would be no limit to the support I would give you. I urge you to reconsider. It is not too late. Yoink. Uh, no, it's uh, apostrophe. That's right. What a strange thing to do for that. Okay, here we go! God, I think that might actually be Comic Sans. Someone left a comment on the subject, but, uh... I kind of shrugged it off at the time. It was K-O-R. Oh well. Um, Operation Resurrection. Phase 1... Yeah, get, get settled in, guys. The last book was very long. Phase 1, Extraction. Officer in charge, Oberst Helga von Bulau. Her again? I thought they put that crackpot away years ago. Background. See Appendix. Note, for further background regarding the historical significance of Heinrich I, the Dark Knights, and related subjects, see SS Paranormal Documents number SQ001773, number SQ001774, and number SQ001777. I think I got the right number of sevens there. Also, Volume 2, Chapter 7 of A Spiritual History of the Third Reich by Dr. Dr. Karl Barren. Bowren? Whatever. For details regarding excavation of the First and Second Dark Knights, see SS Paranormal Briefings, number SBO, uh, or SB02188, and number SB03714. With the discovery of the elusive third Dark Knight, Operation Resurrection is once again active, following a four-year hiatus. Excavation shall commence at the first favorable lunar cycle. 
The team, under the direct supervision of Oberfuhrer von Bülow, shall at all times maintain strict adherence to established rituals of talismanic removal and residual purification. Utter rubbish. Upon completion of the excavation, the extraction team, headed by Professor Zempf, shall perform the most delicate step in the entire procedure, a life-essence life disengagement of the heart and all essential dormant organic materials. I can't decide whether that means they're just scooping all the organs out of this corpse, or whether that means they're extracting some, you know, mystical essence out of it, and they're just taking it out of the heart and all essential dormant organic materials. Note, the reflex interfero... what? Oh, here we go. The reflex interferomoscope <laughs> must go... must undergo a 36-hour burn in session prior to the extraction. A burn-in session. Jesus. Hard to believe someone of Zemp's caliber would involve himself in this foolishness. Following a spe successful extraction, all materials are to be delivered to the nearest field lab for further processing. Once processing is completed, the resulting distillate compound will be sent to SS Paranormal Headquarters, where it will remain until the completion of Phase 2. Phase 2, Creation. Officer in charge, SS S Special Projects Acting Administrator. Is that how they refer to me? Background. As early as 1938, it was concluded that Operation Resurrection would require the development of an advanced synthetic humanoid host. A host with specifications at the extreme cutting edge of our present robotic and biological sciences. Uh, fortunately and quite coincidentally, such development was already well underway by the SS Special Projects Division. This was to be the major component of their Project Uber Soldat. Due to our overriding priority, the project was immediately transferred to our jurisdiction. Work was then rapidly resumed with the enthusiastic cooperation of all special projects personnel. HA! All existing production is to be converted from the Stage 7 Proto-Soldat... Proto-Soldat? To the new Type 2 Uber-Soldat. Ominous. Note, this primarily involves replacing the old-style titanium armor with the latest ultralight carbon resin plate. Done. Due to our accelerated timetable, all scheduled trials are to be pushed ahead six weeks and cut back to no more than 45 days total. Results are to be published immediately thereafter. Results exceeded all expectations. What a weapon this could be if used as intended. All my arguments fall on deaf ears. Too fixated on their fairy tales to see reason. These fools will be the ruin of us all. The recent discovery of new... Oh, for God's sake. I can do this. The recent discovery of new Meteorillium 317 deposits in our Baltic territories. Meteorillium... Jesus Christ, has now enabled us to meet our original production targets. See note, note, Meteorillium, Meteorillium 317, the rarest form of Meteorillium, is found only in certain meteor fragments that are believed to have originated at the core of our galaxy. It is essential in the manufacture of the imbument vessel, the key component of the live, the life essence anointment ritual, a complete waste of time and resources. Six complete Type 2 hosts must be ready for delivery by no later than two weeks before the commencement of Phase 3. They'll have to make do with five. I'm keeping one for further testing. I didn't sacrifice six years of my life for nothing. I'm sure Himmler will be out for my blood once he gets wind of this. No matter, I'm ready to confront the Fuhrer himself over this. Phase 3, Resurrection. Officer in charge, SS Oberfuhrer, High Priestess Adept Mariana Blavatsky. Good lord, is she still alive? I remember that. They said that uh, Helga was an, uh, an apprentice of this Mariana Blavatsky. I didn't think that would come back to be relevant. Uh, background. This final phase represents the culmination of over ten years of arduous work and painstaking research. It is the realization of a dream that began even earlier. All of our efforts thus, uh, thus far were to achieve one end. The resurrection of Heinrich I, master of the Dark Hosts, wielder of the powers of Earth and Fire, and spiritual ancestor of our glorious Reichsfuhrer SS. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. 
The ceremony is to take place at our holiest site during the most favorable alignment of Saturn and Mars. A minimum of three hosts shall be prepared as described in the ancient texts. See note. Note, for the sake of redundancy, six was agreed upon as the optimal number of hosts. The providing mystic adept, Madame Blavatsky, shall open the ceremony with an, uh, an incantation as the life essence elixir is absorbed into the bodies of the initiates. I thought they were, like, meant to be clones or something. Uh, shortly thereafter, she shall utter the anointment invocation, imbuing each host in its turn with the dark life essence. Once imbued, the hosts will undergo a perfect transformation, becoming, in substance, true dark knights. Next comes the most crucial portion of the ceremony. Forming a circle with the newly anointed dark knights, Madame Blavatsky shall recite the most ancient words of raising. These words, and the resulting metapsychic link, shall open a rift in the earth, preparing the way for the rebirth of the Master. This drivel is unworthy of any further comment. Can Germany afford such fools guiding our destiny? Appendix. This, the following is an ex is an exer. Oh, give me strength. It says expert, but I'm sure it means excerpt. Excerpt. Oh God, I can't even get the words in my head right now. What have you done to me, Wolfenstein? The following is a snippet from a spiritual history of the Third Reich <clears throat> by Dr. Karl Barren, reprinted here with the author's permission. Sorry, I was just kind of struck by the even the idea that the Nazis would give a shit about copyright law. Hmm. Uh, following Charlemagne's conquest of Saxony in 804, oh, 804, like the year 804, this is going to be interesting, and the subsequent conversion of the pagan Saxons, the so-called dark teachings were largely suppressed. As a result, little of consequence relating to the Tulian mystery cults occurred over the next century. Let's just take that at face value. Then, in 918, the Saxon prince Heinrich I displayed a renewed interest in these teachings as he set out to forge an independent Germanic kingdom, separate from the powerful Frankish dynasty. According to legend, Heinrich acquired knowledge of the most ancient and arcane Tulian texts, texts purported to hold the secrets of the dark forces which bind the earth and all that which is, and all that which is contained within. Armed with this great power, Heinrich set about raising an army such as the world had never seen. An army of the undead. At the core of Heinrich's army were his three most trusted vassals, the legendary Dark Knights. In exchange for their loyalty, Heinrich imbued his Dark Knights with enormous power by means of, of an obscure Tulian ritual. Through this ritual, Heinrich and his companions became, themselves, living conduits of the Dark Forces, masters of the nether regions between life and death. That's pretty metal, all right. In 933, Heinrich unleashed his invading, his irresistible army against the invading Magyars, inflicting a crushing defeat upon them at Riyadh. Next, he turned his eyes uh, west, intent upon overthrowing his Frankish overlords. It is difficult to imagine what the extent of his conquests might have been, were it not for one fateful encounter. His unlikely opponent was the enigmatic Simon the Wanderer. A former Benedictine monk, uh, Simon left the order to form his own mysterious sect. With his chosen followers, he traveled incessantly throughout Europe, Asia Minor, and the Far East, collecting countless items of mystical knowledge from all the ancient cultures of the Old World. No doubt the channeling of raw fundamental destructive forces, as practiced by Heinrich, would have seemed an anathema to someone of Simon's reflective and meditative nature. Meditative. I'm slurring my words a little bit. I'm just trying to get through this. Uh, the con confrontation occurred, so the legend says, in 943. Huh, that was exactly 1,000 years ago. Weird. After a prolonged cataclysmic struggle, Simon and his followers, by means never revealed, managed to neutralize and slay the Dark Knights. Their remains were entombed in undisclosed locations, painstakingly sealed against future violation. No kidding, they put a fucking meat golem in place to protect one of them. As for the fate of Heinrich, the sources are even more vague. Some say he was also slain. Others state that he could not be destroyed, that he was trapped in a state of spiritual stasis, sealed in the very earth that was the source of his power. Wow. Is that a separate thing? No. Okay. 
I guess it's just the envelope it came in. Oh, you can actually see that it was folded in half and then folded in half again. Neat. I don't know why I humped the computer. It's not something I normally do. Don't take that audio clip out of context. Or in context, really. I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda hoping there'd be a scripted thing where, like, a loper, like, slides in here to come get me. But because I did that, it would have been killed instantly. Well, I got the book. Everything you ever wanted to know about Project Resurrection, but were too afraid to ask. Nice to finally get some answers around here. Oh. Sorry, I thought that went other places, too. I went the wrong way. Uh... Yoink! Glad I got to do that. Oh, excellent. Just keeping this handy for close encounters, as they say. Ah, perfect! This is really worrying. Oh good, more text! Awesome! Part 3, Super Soldier. There is very little information about the X-Labs themselves. Oh, uh, is there actually anything new in here? No. Okay, great. Uh, pursue Deathshead to the Uber Soldat Test Lab. Eliminate Deathshead's Uber Soldat. Does that mean all of them? Or, did they, or was the one I... Or the kinds I've already fought really unfinished? Is there only one that's finished? Is that what that's getting at? Shit. And locate the exit and proceed to the surface. Let's do this. Hmm. Let's do that. Hmm... Norway! That might be the one I'm looking for. Maybe I can... Can I... Uh... It doesn't seem to be an option for, like, restarting... the level. Shit. I was, uh, told about some funny dialogue at the beginning of that level, but, uh... Apparently I'm not getting back to it. My bad. That one was a comment left by Gunpowder Patron. I don't know why I do that. It just sounds like the backing track to, uh... Like a rave song. Honestly, that's probably the best that's ever turned out. Well, for me, I mean, they're great at killing me. I look at these boxes and I can't help but think that someone has set this, uh... ...entire area to the heavy dimension, if anyone remembers, uh, Quantum Conundrum. You hear that sound? Oh yeah. an alarm box. I didn't think it was, but I was mildly confused, so... Oh, I don't like that. That's a lot of health flying around for no reason. This feels like... Doom. And not the fun kind, where you shoot demons. This just feels like impending doom. Ah! 
I had it in my hand, okay? Shit. I don't know what you're mad about. At least you get an open casket funeral. Oh, God! I didn't even have time to make a joke about that. Oh, that's right, I did uh, save in this level because I killed one. Uh, why do I have the. You know what? i just get this out because it's more cost efficient, if nothing else. Got six bullets left. Come on. Let's do this. One to spare. Let's just fuck this guy up. Ah! I can get out into the open, those guys are not a threat because, you know, they have a projectile attack. I can just keep circle strafing. It's the one time that technique seems to fucking work in this game. No! Silenced weapon. That's not usually what that term means. Just fuck that guy in particular. Hi! I missed. Hi! What? I'm just checking. Um... Oh. Damn it! I thought well, he was animating and I thought he was dead. Fine, I guess I'll take them on next time on Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I'm Burning Dog Face, and me and my invisible gun will see you then. Later!